right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face, pushes forward. He gets to the clinch, loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. side gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright i mean damian maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the ufc this guy resembles him in a number of ways let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon well we talked about his reach advantage off the top made good use of it there with that punch dc Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing his strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. All right, single collar tie now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Just out of range with that left hook. Great punch. Oh, nice. Big power shots landing. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in the Great job by him to get the takedown there. He did a good job of setting up his attack, secured it, and getting the desired result. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound for very patient ground and pound for such a dominant position. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Unable to connect there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. His misses are entertaining. Nice! Oh. Big knee lands there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful punch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ball oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, let's get to round two. Way to hide that leg kick. Good stick. Oh, huge head kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Real quick leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just missed with the left there. Landed that left hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Forward, forward, forward. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Changes the angle. Finds the right spot to land that. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Close guard. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man 
is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. That strike blocked by Troy. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He blocks the punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Huge knee lands from close. And he landed the right hand there. That kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Try to establish that jab. 20 seconds to go round two. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Whoa! Mix is in an elbow there. Oh. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Straight right hand, no good. That's a big strike right there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Just over three minutes now to go. He throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Huge 
huge block there. I need you to pay attention. Big punch lands through the middle. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to oh! the What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. Oh, right. he might be out. Big knee to the body! He throws the right hand there. A great punch landed with so much power. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. It's really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Troy gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attack. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard. Do you believe it? And that'll do it. He's done. He's done. <laughs> I should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the career Super Bowl, Duval Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout.